pregnancy can apparently be kind of dangerous. Good morning, landing crew. Today is going to be a really long day for me. <laughs> if you didn't watch yesterday's video, at the end of it, I went to come up here to clean my room and Lex and Noah had woken up. I'm tired. It took him forever to go to bed. Good morning. Good morning, too. So Lonnie went to go get Danielle. I have to leave for my appointment in like 40 minutes and today's video is still not up. This is real YouTube life. I don't know how I did it guys, but it's uploading. I'm almost done and I came up with this really, really cute thumbnail. Lex is not happy though. Lex, what's going on baby? All right guys, I am running way, way, way behind. I'm here magically. I hate being late and I hate it so much, so it really bothers me when I'm late, but we are waiting on the doctor to kind of give me answers. Apparently there is a tropical storm in the Gulf right now. It looks like it is heading for Florida, but it's heading for the panhandle. So we just have to watch it, make sure it's not gonna affect us too bad. Hopefully it stays on that course away from us, but still regardless, we're gonna get a lot of rain and wind this weekend, and that is not what I wanted to do with my weekend, but that is the joy of living in Florida when it's still hurricane season, even though it's mid-October. So future Stephanie here, I am editing this and I realized that for any new people watching this or maybe you haven't caught up in old vlogs, probably have no idea like why I had heart tests done, what I had done, why. I didn't have any heart issues, any blood pressure issues before I got pregnant with my youngest daughter, Penelope. She is almost nine months old. I got hypertension near the end of her pregnancy, not preeclampsia, there wasn't protein in my urine, just high blood pressure. Then after I had her, I got postpartum preeclampsia. I had really high blood pressure for about three months and then it stabilized. I was able to come off my medication. I got really bad shortness of breath, like really bad. Everyone just kept telling me my body needed to heal, it would be fine. And the shortness of breath was not going away. So that is kind of why I started to see a cardiologist. I started to see the one here when she was about seven and a half months old. I was still getting really shortness of breath and he's like, that's not normal. Like walking up a fly of stairs, it felt like I just like run a marathon, going to the theme parks, which I always did before, it felt exhausting. And so they're like, no, that's not normal. So what they did is they ran an echo and a stress test on my heart. Then in the midst of trying to get answers on these tests, about two weeks ago, I was sitting in my computer chair and I just felt really, really lightheaded, not okay. I thought maybe my blood pressure was dropping down low. I naturally have low blood pressure. So after a few hours of not feeling okay, I took my blood pressure and it was shooting up to 178 over 109. I had to go to urgent care and they had to put me back on my medication. But then a couple days ago, my blood pressure stabilized at this point we have shortness of breath every now and then I'll get like chest discomfort and then we have unstable blood pressure just to give you a reference before going on back to yesterday Stephanie well that is done I am going to update everyone but first I have to go grab some gas because I didn't have time to stop for gas so let's hope I don't run out of gas that would be bad hello how'd you do I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine. And got time. You guys are so weird. Hi, Liam. Are you doing therapy, baby? Are you doing therapy? Mm -hmm. They came from your mom. What are those? Gucci flip flops. Lonnie's arch in his foot's been hurting a lot, so his mom got him some nice supporting shoes for around the house. There you go. I think he feels like it's it's almost Friday too, and he's like, yay. Lonnie is making some dinner. Like, what? Oh, that fogged up the lens. Oh, update, update. I haven't even updated you guys on, on, on my appointment. Whew. The good news first. The good news is, is that the stress test didn't show anything out of the ordinary. Of course, I did get like shortness of breath, a little tightening and things like that during the stress test, but the EKG itself didn't show anything. So those are all good things. However, the echocardiogram that they did, did show that the right side of my heart is enlarged. He is having me go get a CT scan. I need to finally get the PFT. I wasn't able to get it the day I was supposed to. And then he's also having me do more lab work. So that's basically what we're gonna 
figure out. He's also having me chart my blood pressure every day for him for the next month. Just because my blood pressure has been very unstable, like it'll be fine and then out of nowhere it will kind of spike up. So he's just kind of wanting me to keep track of it. We're just trying to get some answers. He said the most common causes of something like this, especially in someone that had like healthy blood pressure and healthy heart before. By having postpartum preeclampsia, it put me at a high risk for postpartum cardiomyopathy. And I'm saying that right, cardiomyopathy. Basically, it's just like enlarged muscles of the heart, I guess. Or um, it could also be a blood clot, but I think that if it was a blood clot, I think that they would have already caught it by now. They've done lots of CT scans and things like that. Obviously, the blood clot is more dangerous if it is cardiomyopathy. I've lived with it for eight months now, and I'm not dead yet, so these are all good things. But it is something that needs to be addressed because the longer you go with it, the more strain it can put on your heart supposedly. I don't know a lot about it. I don't know a lot about hearts, so I'm just going off of what's been told to me. I'm not worried about it. Maybe I should be a little bit more worried, but I feel like we're taking all the precautions needed for it. In about a week and a half, I will have those tests done. Next month, I'll find out the answers for it, and hopefully it's just all good news. I think it's great to kind of talk about this because again, I had a very healthy heart before pregnancy. I had five healthy pregnancies before this. This is things that no one tells you. Like I had no idea that pregnancy could make you high risk for heart issues afterwards. When people tell you you should wait 12 months in between like pregnancies and things, I never understood it. I always thought it meant like your uterus got tired or your you just kind of got fatigued and it was kind of hard on your body. Never in a million years would I think, oh, it means that I could have potential heart issues or chronic hypertension or all of these problems. So I am talking about it because a lot of women just don't know like pregnancy can apparently be kind of dangerous. So we are going to do everything we can to take care of ourselves and take care of this little guy who's just so adorable. <laughs> He's been a hoot today. You've been a hoot haven't you? I ordered a Christmas gift for him today and Lux. I'm so excited. Guys, it is burning up in here. We try to keep our AC on 79 just to keep our utility bills low, but it is it is hot. So last night I was supposed to clean this room because I've been doing that cleaning thing. I went up here to start cleaning and Noah and Lex were awake, so I wasn't able to. Today I'm doing it way earlier so I can get this thing done. I have one hour until I have to live stream. So I'm hoping in one hour I can get this room clean. We'll see if we can do it. Let's go. Of the past and the memory of you just come running by. Pictures of sunny days with your smile in the bar. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay. Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them. Oh! They say I was broken How could they say you made me come undone Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them Try to be cool Even wear that shirt you wanted to My friends Think I'm lame Since I met you I am not the same It was not meant to Be a fairy tale With a happy end Girl you take care now I hope we can be friends How could they say I was broken How could they say You made me come undone Now I know Okay. Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them oh. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come up done? Now I know So guys, this is my bed. I am not making my bed look pretty because I'm about to do a live stream on it. That's kind of that, but it feels amazing to have my room done.
So I did some shopping on live stream. That was lots of fun, but now I've got to kind of make sense of my basket. I always do the same thing I do in the store. I fill up my cart or my basket, and then when I go to check out, I pick the items that I love or don't love, kind of go from there. So that's kind of how I Christmas shop too. Feeling like I'm making some productivity today. Yes, I do. So I feel like I've gotten so much Christmas shopping done tonight. Like so much Christmas shopping. I'm so happy about it. When you have so many kids, it's nice to feel like you put a dent in it. And in the grand scheme of things, I still have a lot of shopping to do, but I feel like we put a really big dent in it. So I will be doing all the Christmas videos, everything like that. I just want to kind of get like Christmas shopping out of the way. I'm tired of worrying about it. I feel great now that my room's cleaned. I don't know what room I'm going to clean tomorrow. Maybe I might do the bathrooms. I hate doing the bathrooms. So maybe the bathrooms would help. Oh, Lex, baby, you were sleeping. What, what happened? Oh God, Lex is awake. All right, guys. Well, I love you all. If you are new to our landing crew, hit that red subscribe button and we will see you guys tomorrow. Where you move, make me blind. You will always be there. There's no doubt in my mind. You will always be.